Including a call-out box with a quotation in it in your document is a very good way of helping to lift the whole document to create some focus and also to create interest in your document by taking a particularly interesting sentence or quotation and giving it more attention. This is the call-out box I've got in the middle of the document, and you see how it does help lift the document a little bit. What I'll do is show you how to create this, and also how to create it in such a way that if you change the theme of your document, the call-out box will match the theme. So I'm going to click on that and delete it. And the first thing we need to do is to insert the shape itself. Now if we go up to the top, we click on the Insert ribbon, and then it's in Shapes. So we click on Shapes, select something which is appropriate. Obviously a smiley face, whilst amusing, isn't necessarily helpful for a quotation. So we're going to choose, in this case, um, a rounded rectangle type shape. So click on that and draw it out. Next thing we need to do is to find a sentence or a quotation within the document which is going to be useful. And I'm going to select this sentence here, the one I had earlier on. There we go, copy that. And to paste sentence or words into a shape, simply right click and choose Add Text. And then we can paste those words in. Another thing we can do is to change the style of the box because at the moment a plain white one isn't very interesting. So we click on that, which brings up our uh, shapes menu. And there are three styles given as examples here. But if I click on the down arrow, uh, there are a lot more that I could choose. Now, because I've already got a theme for my document, all of these styles have been chosen to match or complement the theme in some way. I'm going to select this one here. There we and then we can also change the text as well. So if I highlight the text and go to the Home tab, I'll choose a style. Again, I'm not just going to change the font myself manually. I'm going to use a style simply because that means that I can then change the appearance of the whole document very easily later on with a single click. So again, you can see because I've already got a theme chosen, all of these styles help to match that theme. And I think a simple one for the moment helps it to stand out. Having chosen one of those styles, I can alter it slightly. So I'm going to embolden it. And I'll need to slightly increase the width of that box in order to get it all to fit. There we are. And we can also fully justify it as well, perhaps. Now, a way to help a sentence like that stand out even more and to grab attention is to simply pop it into speech marks. And for some reason, people love reading things in speech marks, and so it grabs attention a bit more. So we'll put that in speech marks just to help it. And of course, an obvious thing we need to still do is to wrap the text around this box, because at the moment, obviously, it's hiding quite a bit of our text. So we click on that box. And at the top, we've got text box tools and format. If I click on the format, we have text wrapping. And I'm going to choose square, which means the text has changed to fit around the outside of that box. Just move that down slightly so the text is now around the outside of that box. Now, what we can also do is change the theme, as I said, so that this will match the theme. If we go to Page Layout, we can change the theme on the left-hand side. And if I highlight each of these, you can see that straight away, a lot of things change about the document. The font, the background, the layout, and also our new call-out box as well. So that whatever theme we choose, the call-out box will match the theme. So I've chosen a different theme there, and you can see how the colour of that box now matches our overall theme to give it a really professional look. So that's how to use a call-out box and to design one that fits in with a theme.